Hello, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. On my website, I have a, a, a store that you can buy products from, as well as a blog where I talk about a lot of the information we cover here on the stream, whether it be gaming-related, investing, technology-related, more fashion, clothing-related. You can find a lot of great information on there. I'd highly recommend that you guys go and check it out. Here's an example of what one of the blog posts might look like. As you can see, this is a product we once covered here on stream. You can go in depth with the information available, such as its top holdings, and learn more about some of the companies that make up these different products that we cover here on this channel. Every blog post also has its own video that's unique to it. And at the very bottom, there is a section where you can leave comments, give me feedback, well, let me know what you guys think, recommend things that I should cover. And something you might have noticed as you're scrolling through, every page has this little Discord button at the bottom. If you click it, you are able to browse the Discord basically in its entirety without making an account, without downloading anything. You can scroll through, look at the different channels. Um, if you see something you'd like, you can click it. And then there's this open original button, and it'll open the picture in its full size in a new tab so you can more clearly see it. Also, here's again my YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel, we have a bunch of playlists um, where a lot of the content we cover again here in these streams makes its way to whether you're interested in ETFs, commodities, crypto, technical analysis, such as like the different in indicators you often hear me talk about. Uh, there's more in-depth in videos available on the YouTube channel that you can look at more. So what's the next symbol we're going to be covering? This is symbol BAC, Bank of America Corporation. Now this is something we had actually brought up in the Discord um, prior to their most recent earnings. Again, if you're in the Discord, go to the Bullish Charts channel. Um, and I was actually able to share this exact screenshot with the Discord. Um, and they beat earnings and have been running ever since. Now, as you can see here, they kind of have this upward trending Fibonacci fan here um, with the support and the resistance. It's kind of more like a wedge shape, right? You so often see me cover like upward trending price channels with rigid parallel um, supports and resistance. Again, this has this, it's the same concept, right? You have your resistance, you have your support, but as time is going, the distance is becoming wider and wider. But in reality, is it coming wider and wider? Because it really is kind of a perspective thing when you're looking at it, right? You have a 240% move here, but even though the support and resistance are seemingly a much farther distance, right? You're getting about a 115% move here. So it's kind of quite proportional the way this works out. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So Bank of America Corporation, well, what are some of the things I like about Bank of America Corporation? Well, as you can see here, they have a dividend yield of 3.01%. That is really solid. We like to see that. That is well above that U.S. national average. Not only that, they have a history of beating earnings consistently, which is great because you get to ride um, those headlines every time they announce earnings. They can tend to consistently beat earnings which creates a uh, bullish momentum, which is nice. Let's look at their financials. In 2018, they had a profit margin of 25.72%. In 2019, they had a profit margin of 24.09%. In 2020, they had a profit margin of 18.85%. In 2021, they had a profit margin of 33.39%. And in 2022, they had a profit margin of 23.82%. As you can see, it kind of hovers around like a 24% profit margin range. And these are excellent financials. These are kind of very strong financials. Some of the best you could expect out of like U.S. equities, right? Really good, really good. Right in line with some of the most um, valued companies in our country, such as like Microsoft, for example. Very solid financials, very profitable. Now, right now, I'm looking at a monthly time frame. If you come up here next to the symbol, you'll see an M. This means every candle here represents one month of time. Big time frames, guys. Big time frames. I don't do any of that five minute, one minute, one hour stuff, that puny one hour stuff, right? This is a monthly time frame. Monthly. 
So keep that in mind, you know, general idea of how long it might take for some of these patterns to play out. So as you can see here, the RSI on the monthly RSI has come down and it kind of bottoms out at a 42 consistently. Let's well, let's make that more apparent here. As you can see, if I draw a straight line across at the 40, you so often ref see me refer to an RSI in the 30, right? But quite clearly, looking at the price history for this symbol on this time frame, the way it behaves, the bottom point for the its RSI is a 40. It doesn't go lower than the 40. I'm able to observe this and recognize this and there's no one size fit all here but using it's quite clear to see every time that the monthly rsi comes down in bank of america it tends to bottom at a 40 where it then proceeds to rebound okay so when the rsi is high in the sky like it was 2023 september 2023 this is typically a sign that it's not a good time to be allocating money to this investment or it's potentially overvalued now let me quickly go through and show last time where its rsi was as low as it is currently as you can see in march 2020 the rsi came down and touched the 40 and then bank of america proceeded to run as much as 152 percent the time prior to that where the rsi was as low as it is currently would be february 2016 the rsi came down bounced off the 40 then proceeded to run as much as 175 percent the time prior to that would be September 2011. RSI came down, touched that 40, and then proceeded to run 243%. These are very large runs, something you can hold for a very long period of time. They're relatively consistent and stable. It, it would be pretty easy to hold on to something like this for a long period of time without getting too seasick, shaken back and forth. Um, Again, Bank of America, every, everybody knows them. They're a very blue chip company. Everyone's very familiar with them. They have a current market cap of $254 billion, So this is not no small fry penny stock. Um, I quite like the chart for this because it's so elegant. Um, at, quite clearly, you can see. You might be more used to seeing my perfectly parallel price channels that we cover often but this is just another type of price band that you could see in stocks and i'm showcasing it here today you're, you're, you're able, able to learn a little bit more about it um, again we have this line here acting as the support this line here acting as a resistance it's more of like a conical shape a conical shape now where do we think Bank of America is going to be going moving forward. Currently have a price projection in of 115. You could easily see it potentially, let's unlock this, move up to as much as 129. As you can see off the previous runs, if we were to average them out, you have 243 over here, you have 175 over here, you have 150 over here. So we're being quite conservative by putting in a current projection of 215 to 230. That you know that's completely within reason for a symbol like this and on my channel on my channel we've been covering the symbol xlf which is the sectoral financial etf and then there's also kre which is the regional banks um e sectoral etf like a subsector right um, and both of them have been performing extremely well and those videos are available on my youtube channel already so i'd highly recommend you go and watch those to learn a little bit about them and again um during our weekly recap that we did at the open of the stream here's symbol kre regional banks five day 15 minute charts it was up the the entire subsector etf was up 5.1 percent on the week so banks are doing quite well right now again as you can see by this candle here so bank of america very solid investment, something you can hold for a very long period of time. Very reputable company, very blue chip. They offer a dividend of over 3%, and they have an average profit margin of 24%. These are all great numbers, all, all great numbers. That's pretty much everything I want to say about Bank of America. We're going to jump right into our next symbol here.